Hello Dark Reader, my name is Carrie with Dark Side of the Library, and I wanted to show you a quick peek through the Book of Imaginary Beings by Jorge Luis Borges. I picked it up at my local library. I have not even opened it because I was waiting to look through it with you. I got it in the folklore section, which is 398. blah 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 in the Dewey Decimals. The Book of Imaginary Beings is illustrated by Peter Sis or Sis. Translated by Andrew Hurley because it was written in, uh, Arge, uh, excuse me, it's an Argentinian author, so it started off in Spanish. Bothell. Okay. With Margarita Guerrero, Viking is the publisher, and it came out in, uh, oh, 2005, excuse me. Let's check out the table of contents. I have not read through this book at all, so this is not a book review, it's just a sneak peek at what you might find out. Wow! So, the first chapter starts off with the Abau Aku. Second chapter is Abtu and Annette. Sounds Egyptian to me. Chapter 3, the monster Asheron. And then chapter 4, the Amphis Bena. I've never heard of these creatures. Then it's Swedenborg's Angels. An Animal Dreamed by Kafka, An Animal Dreamed by C.S. Lewis, The Animal Dreamed by Poe, Two Metaphysical Animals, Animals That Live in the Mirror, Spherical Animals, Six-Legged Antelopes, The Three-Legged Ass, I know a person like that, no, I'm sorry, The Bahamut, The Baldanders, Banshees, The Basilisk, The Behemoth, The Bird That Makes the Rain, The Boromets, oh my god, it keeps going, there's so many, well, Fine, I'm just going to read it. If you don't want to watch, fast forward or turn me off. The Brownies, Barak, the Cheshire Cat and Kilkenny Cats, the Catoblepus, the Centaur, Cerberus, the Chimera, the Celestial Cock, no comment, the Crocata and the Lucrocata, a crossbead by Kafka, the Demons of Judaism, Swedenborg's Demons, the Devourer of the Dead, the Double, the Dragon, the Chinese Dragon, the Western Dragon, the Elephant that Prefigured the Birth of Buddha, the Eloi and the Morlocks, if you know your sci-fi trivia, Elves, Fairies, the Fastito Calan, Fauna of China, Fauna of the United States, the Chinese Fox, the Garuda, Gnomes, the Golan, the Griffin, the Hairy Beast of La Fête Bernard, Haniel, Kafziel, Azrael, and Anil, sounds like demons, Helka, God of Thunder, the Hare and the Moon, the Harpies, the Hippogriff, Huchigan, Humbaba, the Hundred Heads, the Hydra, Ichthyocentaurs, the Jinn, the Kami, a king of fire and his steed, the Kraken, Kronos or Heracles, the lamed Wufnix, the Lamia, the Lemuri, the Leveler, ooh, the offspring of Leviathan, Lilith, the Mandrake, whew, almost done, halfway through, the Manticora or Manticore, the Minotaur, the Ink Monkey, the Mother of Tortoises, the Mermel, Mermel, Echolion, excuse me, I've never seen that word, the Nagas, the Nisnas, the Norns, Nymphs, Odredek by Kafka, One-Eyed Beings, the Ouroboros, the Panther, the Pelican, the Periton, the Phoenix, the Chinese Phoenix, Pygmies, Coyata, Remora, a Reptile Dream by C.S. Lewis, the Rock, the Salamander, Satyr, Scylla, the Seahorse, the Eight-Forked Serpent, the Simurg, Sirens, the Sow in Chains, the Sphinx, the Squonk, the Celestial Stag, Sylphs, Talos, the Tau T, Thermal Beings, the Tigers of Anum, Trolls, the Unicorn, the Chinese Unicorn, Valkyries, Uwerki, the Zaraton. Whew. So uh, the foreword to the first edition says it's an anthology of fantastic zoology. And forward to the 1967 edition. Whew. The Book of Imaginary Beings. I'm going to jump ahead to something that all of us love, if we're goth, the banshees. <laughs> Let's see if I can find them. Ah, uh, it's alphabetical. Oh, so no pictures, just writing. No one seems ever to have seen one. They are less a shape than a wailing that lends horror to the Knights of Ireland. And according to Sir Walter Scott's letters on demonology and witchcraft, the mountain regions of Scotland, where my ancestors come from. Heard outside one's window, they herald the death of some member of the family. Preferably someone you don't like. Sorry. Um, it's the peculiar privilege of certain lineages of pure Celtic blood, with no trace of Latin, Saxon, or Norse, to hear them. 
They are also heard in Wales and Brittany. They belong to the race of elves. Their wailing is known as keening. And then they go on. That's barely any info, but the basilisk gets three pages. The behemoth gets two and a half pages. Okay. The brownies get a tiny little... They're helpful little brown men whose name is derived from their color. They visit farms in Scotland while the family is asleep and lend a hand with the household's chores. Please come to my household. My floors are dirty. Oh, there's an illustration of the Barak or Barak. It is from the Quran. It's an Islamic creature. The Cheshire Cat gets half a paragraph. So you get the drift. If you like fantastical creatures, you're going to learn a lot about the history of folklore. I love it. Barely any illustrations. <laughs> but lots and lots to learn from this book. That's the Book of Imaginary Beings. I'm so glad my library had it for me. I'm going to turn off this camera, go drink the rest of my cup of tea in a Christmas mug because it's what I had nearby, and read through this book. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our Dark Side of the Library podcast with your favorite listening app. Bye!